Well, I've had some comments come in and want to talk about this whole idea of a grub box. Uh, well, first I'll do a little housekeeping here. Uh, this is to my sister who sent me the key. <laughs> you know, I, I get a card in the mail and I'm thinking, what in the world? You know, uh, I had no idea why somebody would be sending a card. Then inside it says, oh, here's a spare key. And there is a key size hole in the envelope. You know, if you'd, have, if you'd have taped it inside the card, maybe. But uh, she's got some phobia about going to a post office. She must have had a bad experience there with her. She lives down by the cities, and I think there's all those hellacious whines and rude people. You know, like here, if you go into a post office, there's never anybody in front of you. I was hoping it'd be hot enough in the chicken we can carry on, but... Yeah. Okay. In the chatting about this, you know, somebody said, well, I bet that the cover for the saucepan fits the frying pan. No, it's exactly <laughs> the same interior dimension because it made the nest this. You know, the, and like, see, the frying pan it would have been nice. In a lot of them, I see where the frying pan actually doubles as the lid for the big kettle and holds the whole unit together. Well, they didn't go that way either. You know, it's not really very well thought out uh, on the detail end of things. But I think a guy could assemble something out of it. You know, is what I'm working at. Because I've seen a lot of things too where Let's say the lid for this will be the next size pan that'll fit, but no, no, they didn't do it that way either. So although, like I said, there's potential here, they missed the boat in a lot of ways. You know, where it could have been a lot better if they put a little plot into it. Well, what I was talking about tray. These are those institutional trays. They're, they're army and prison. But uh, I see it's dated, at least this one is 1951. You know, they're pretty good. Though, this cup would not fit. It fits in this compartment, but not in the smaller compartments which would be a little bit handier. Now, if they'd had the taper on the cups like I told them to, then it would work. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we used to, in, in high school, we actually used trays like this, but they weren't metal. Uh, I suppose they thought we'd make a shiv out of them or something, but they were out of like a, a Malmac or a Bakelite kind of, they were breakable though. Uh, you know, you could break them, but they they do work. I mean, the design has been around for a long time, and they are stackable to take up very little space compared to like the U.S. mess kits. There, I bought a pile of them that time at $9.99, and so I've got a bunch of these that are brand new with the silverware. And they're nice, but like I say, they're thick. So you stack up four of them, you know, up a lot of room. Whereas these, four of these, you could make the bottom have like a drawer almost that could slide in. So like I say, it's, it's a work in progress. Uh, these on their own though are nice, but when you start tying a bunch of them together, then you got a problem. So I think I'll go this route. Though I do see, you know, the same Ozark Trail, I mean, they make different sets. And I might be end up buying another set or two to try to <laughs> mix and match out of them sets, you know, to get the right thing. I'm really, you know, it's funny because there is really a lot of interest People want to be able to have 
a functional cook kit, you know, for a portable kitchen. And they always miss the boat on it. You know, no, nobody actually manufactures a really decent one. And there's no reason you couldn't put together a decent one in a decent stainless steel box. So you know, that wouldn't have to be so much bigger than, than that. You know, it, it could be done. You could sell it for 100, 125. You know, the components are all available. I don't know why. You know, because somebody was talking about uh, using a DeWalt tough box. You know, those toolboxes. Well, yeah, they'd work, but, you know, the whole assembly shouldn't cost you that much. But, like I say, they, they always... They, they tend to lean toward the picnic-y side of things instead of the, like the old WPA or the Forest Service boxes. You know, and that's what I'd like to see somebody actually go that route. Because it'd be good, just a, a, a temporary kitchen facility that could be used in a lot of circumstances. But particularly like in the, Traveling in a vehicle, you know, a vehicle camping kind of thing, which used to be a big thing, you know, or a canoe. You know, and talking about, you know, the, the lack of a decent frying pan, because like, like I say, this, this thing ain't really what I would call a frying pan. Now, I know at one time I did see someplace somebody had a griddle that was square, about like that, with a folding handle. I'll have to see if I can't come up with that again. But that was, I'm pretty sure it was steel, but my my drawback to that would be I think it had a non, non-stick coating. And that's kind of a killer for me. Uh, the non-stick stuff, it's really what's poisoning people. I, I don't want that on a cook set. You know, it'd be possible to... You know, because a, a cast iron griddle, a small one, I think I actually have one that's square and a handle that would you could make the fit in conjunction with it. The handle is always problematic. But that one, I think, would, would fit in the same compartment space. Because a cast iron griddle would make a world of difference, you know, in, in your cooking ability here. Because can you imagine, say, the, well, like I said, an egg, but even a fish or even a piece of bacon, you know, in the first place, it's too recessed. And then it's got that lip in there, it's just all wrong for frying. But a cast iron griddle with even like a quarter inch lip on it, that would be workable. But it's funny that somebody doesn't actually sit down and design a decent one. Uh, maybe somebody does, and I've just never seen it. You know? But gotta be one someplace. I mean, they used to make them. <laughs> I would think somebody's still making them.